Using Vine, you can uh, run uh, Windows uh, applications on your Linux operating system. So to download uh, Vine on your Ubuntu operating system, you can just open your uh, browser and search for Vine Linux. And the first result which will appear here will be from vinehq.org. So let's click on this link. And uh, if you want to learn more about uh, Wine, what it can do, you can read uh, these uh, documentations here, which are given on the website. And also you can uh, see this downloads uh, button here. So I'm going to just click on the downloads button. And once you are on the downloads page, when you scroll down, you will be able to see uh, the downloads for uh, different uh, distributions. So for Android, Ubuntu, Debian, Fedora, macOS. So we want to download Wine on our Ubuntu operating system. So that's why I'm going to just click on the Ubuntu option. And then the installation process is straightforward. So just follow all these steps which are given here. So first of all, open your terminal. To open the terminal, you can either press uh, Control Alt T or you can uh, search for the terminal by just clicking on the show applications option and then just search for the terminal here which is going to open the terminal for you so let's uh, just give these commands one by one first is uh, this command sudo dpkg space uh, hyphen hyphen add architecture i386 so let's give this command here you just need to uh, press Control shift v in order to paste your command and then press enter and then give your ubuntu's password here which is going to uh, add this uh, thing into ubuntu now the second command is for the adding of the repository key so we are going to add the repository key just go to the terminal paste this command and then press enter which is going to add the repository key so the third step is to add the repository so depending upon the version of ubuntu you have you can choose uh, from these options i have ubuntu 20.04 so i'm going to choose uh, the first command which is given here so let's just copy this command and then go to the terminal and paste this command on the terminal and then press enter so once the adding of the repository is done we are going to go to the next step which is to update the packages so sudo apt update is the command for that so just copy this command and paste it into the terminal and once you do that uh, it will update your packages and then we have the last command and that command is to install the wine on our ubuntu operating system so we have stable branch development branch and staging branch three different options to install we are going to choose the stable branch because it's most likely to be stable so i'm going to choose this option which is the first option and then just uh, clear my terminal so let's clear the terminal paste this command and then press enter and then press y and then press enter once again which is going to start the installation of wine on your ubuntu operating system so just wait for this process to complete so once this process is complete uh, wine is installed on our ubuntu operating system so i'm going to uh, clear the terminal and then i'm going to just write uh, wine here and then uh, hyphen hyphen version so it's going to show uh, which version of wine we have installed and then we uh, can write wine here in order to know more about wine how to use wine okay so you can uh, just see that to get help you can give uh, wine hyphen hyphen help so i'm going to just do that i'm going to just write wine hyphen hyphen help now in order to configure wine or do uh, wine related settings what you can do is you can give this command which is wine cfg okay it stands for wine configuration and then press enter which is going to open an application like this okay so once this wine configuration window opens you can see you can do uh, many type of settings using this window so by default uh, i have selected uh, applications here you can add applications by clicking on the add application uh, button and then uh, 
you always have virtual C drive mounted on your Ubuntu operating system, which is going to look like a Windows C drive, right? So I'm going to cancel this option for now. Uh, here you have the option to choose different Windows operating system. I'm going to choose Windows 10 here and then click on apply, which is going to now use the Windows 10, okay? Now uh, you have the libraries here, you can add some libraries, graphics here and under graphics you can uh, do some settings, automatically capture the mouse for full screen and other settings here, right? Desktop integration also is here and you have about section here, okay? So this is about the wine configuration. Now, uh, when you click on this files option, this is going to open the Ubuntu uh, files and uh, folders uh, graphical uh, user interface. And when you click on these three bars here and click on show hidden files, you will be able to see dot wine file. Okay, so I'm going to go inside dot wine file and you can see here you have the virtual C drive and it's going to look like a Windows 10 operating system because we have chosen the Windows 10 operating system, right? So let's try to install some application which is uh, Windows based and we want to use it on our Ubuntu operating system. So let's say we want to install uh, Notepad++ which is a Windows based uh, notepad. So I'm going to search for Notepad++ on my browser and the first link which will appear here will be from notepad++.org. And from downloads, I'm going to just click on the latest option and then I'm going to download this installer file. So just click on installer button here. And once you do that, just save this file. Just click on OK, which is going to save the exe installer file for the notepad++. So I'm going to wait for this download to complete. And now once uh, this executable file is downloaded, I'm going to go to the folder where it's downloaded. And now I'm going to just right click on this executable file and then click on open with other applications. And I have this Vine Windows program loader. So, so just select that and then click on select option, which is going to start the installation of this Notepad++ using your Vine tool on your Ubuntu operating system. So the installation process is easy. Just select the language and then click on the next button, agree. And then you can see it will be uh, installed on this location. So click on next and then click on next. And then you can also click on create a shortcut on desktop and click on next and install it, okay? And once you have uh, installed Notepad++, just leave it as checked and click on finish, which is going to launch the Notepad++. So you can see Notepad++ is launched now and you can uh, use Notepad++. And we need to keep in mind that this is a Windows application, which we are running on our Ubuntu operating system using Vine. So you can use this uh, application normally as you would do on your Windows 10 operating system. Now, once you close Notepad++, I'm going to minimize this browser also and uh, this uh, uh, terminal also. So in order to open the Notepad++, you need to uh, go to the show applications and you will be able to see the Notepad++ icon here. So just click on this uh, icon which is going to open the Notepad++. And once this Notepad++ opens, you can uh, just scroll on uh, this uh, bar here, which is on the left hand side and you will see this Notepad++ icon here. If you want to add uh, this to your favorite, just click on this option, add to favorite, and it's going to just stick to this left bar. So if you close this, you will be able to see this icon here and you can uh, run your Notepad++ from here also.